Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, in this video, we'll talk about implementation of mod n synchronous counter using IC 74191. So let's understand what 74191 is. 74191 is a synchronous counter. Synchronous means all flip-flops will get clocked simultaneously and hence they'll generate output simultaneously. This is 4-bit counter. And here we can implement up counter as well as down counter using IC 74191. So 191 is a 4-bit synchronous counter IC. So here P0, P1, P2 and P3 are 4 inputs to 4 flip-flops and Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3 are 4 outputs. Out of those 4 outputs, Q0 is least significant bit and Q3 is most significant bit. Similarly, P0 is LSB and P3 is MSB. Then, E bar is enable pins. Means to turn this IC on, this pin number 4 must be connected to ground. This is active low. Pin number 5 is up bar slash down. It means to implement up counter, we need to connect pin number 5 to ground. And to implement down counter, we need to connect this to VCC. Pin number 8 is ground. Pin number 11 is parallel load. Here, we can start counting from 0. See, this is 4-bit counter. So, we, could, we can count from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1. Or we can start counting from any number and for that we need to load that number into IC 74191 and to load that number we have parallel load inputs P0, P1, P2, P3 and for that to load par data parallelly here PL bar pin is given so and this is active low pins it means if it will receive 0 then it will load external data into this IC. Then pin number 12 is terminal count output. Pin number 13 is ripple clock output. These two pins are not connected. And single clock pin is given because this is our synchronous counter IC. So we'll see how to implement mod n counter. But before that, let's see how to implement up counter or how to implement down counter. So here, see. P0, P1, P2, P3 are shown. For P0 pin number is 15, then for P1 it is 1, for P2 it is 10 and for P3 it is 9. And these are 4 outputs Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. External clock will get connected to pin number 14. Enable pin is connected to ground because this is active low pin and we need to turn this IC on. Now, I want to count from 0 to 15. So, what I'll do? I'll connect this parallel load pin to VCC. So, I'll keep it, uh, uh, I'll keep it active high. So, that it will not load any data in between. It will count till 15. And I want you to start counting from 0. So, what I'll do? I'll simply connect P0, P1, P2 and P3 to ground. Pin number 16 is VCC, pin number 8 is ground. To count in upward direction, what I'll do, I'll connect this pin number 5 up bar slash down to 0 for up counting. And for down counting, I'll connect same pin to VCC or 1 down counting. So simply to connect uh, to count till last value from 0 to 15 or from 15 to 0 we need to make connections in this way. Now let's see how to implement mod 12 counter using IC 74191. So I'll connect external clock here. This is my enable pin. Enable bar so I'll connect it to ground. 
mod 12 counter i'll up counter so i'll connect my pin number 5 up bar slash down to ground then these are my p0 p1 p2 and p3 i'll start counting from 0 and i'll end at 11 mod 12 so i'll connect them to ground c if want if you wanted to start counting from let's say 4 4 to 11 then what you'll do you'll simply connect this p0 p1 p2 to 0 1 0 0 so this is my p0 p1 p2 p3 mod n means what modulus is number of clock pulses and this is my pl bar pin number 16 to vcc pin number 8 to ground now let's see our counter is mod 12 counter binary equivalent of 12 is 1 1 0 0 so it is q0 q1 q2 and q3 q3 and q2 are 1 q1 and q0 are 0 0 this is our parallel load and this pin is active load it means if this pin will receive 0 it will load external data so what we will do we will connect our here data is 1100 as soon as this number becomes 1100 it should again load data parallelly it should start counting from 0 so the pins which are 1 i'll connect them to input of nand gate so that when these two will become 1 1 output of nand gate will become 0 and i'll connect it to parallel load pin so that as soon as this number becomes 12 parallel load will receive 0 and because of this 0 what it will do it will simply load external data into IC 74191 and it will start counting from 0. So it will count from 0 to 11. If I wanted to implement mod 8 counter binary equivalent of 8 is 1 triple zero so what i'll do i'll simply connect this q3 to input of inverter and output of inverter will go to parallel load so you need to remember the inputs the outputs which are one will connect them to input of nand gate and output of nand gate will go to parallel load this is my up counter to implement down counter what i'll do i'll simply connect this up down pin pin number five to vcc in this way, we can implement mod n counter using IC74191. Thank you so much for watching.